Happy birthday, dear Patik. Happy birthday, dear Patik. Happy birthday, Bohemian Wonders. Happy birthday to you. It's been two years. Two years ago today, I opened up the store for the first time and of course it looks very similar to what it looks like now but there were definitely less things in here so it's crazy it's been two years let's light the candle we've only made it to the 10th It's almost done, I think. I'm gonna give it a bit more. It might look like I'm eating lasagna for breakfast, but it's actually half past two o'clock. I've been editing part two of my business story since a quarter past 10 in the morning, and it's 40 minutes long. It was so hard to cut down so much footage. So it's pretty long part two, but I think it's good. And um, yeah, now I deserve some veggie lasagna. I'm by the way wearing my Magical Night Cape, a design that launched last year around Christmas time with the Starry Night trousers. Wearing these earrings that I haven't listed yet, um, but you can pop me a DM on Bohem Bohemian Wonders Instagram if you want a pair. That's always possible if you have questions. Um, so I think it's a really nice set to wear for this anniversary today. I might just take it out. I'm really hungry. Oh, here are some pictures of the boutique, the progress of opening up. <laughs> They've been bended a lot, but this is before the new floor, after the new floor. A picture of me in front of the store. Mom helping, painting everything. Um, my mom and my sister were such a big help. And then trying to photograph vintage in the middle of the mess. And I have these hanging in here to remember that time but yeah let's take out this lasagna Any better way to celebrate a business two years anniversary than by having work to do I don't think so so I'm going to turn on some music pack your orders what you can see behind me there is a wall of the first amazing letters and support I've been sent throughout the first two years I've been here so I feel like this room is already so full of memories and quite personal so let's pack some orders Christmas presents might be the last ones I know that when we get to this point throughout December it might be the very last Christmas presents I'm shipping out I've just quickly prepared the living room a little bit, found some paisley papers to use. These are gorgeous. A subscriber sent me this some years ago. Then I bought these this Christmas that I thought would be super cute to use for some of these hats. If you weren't watching last year, we made many of these on our crafty night. This one in red and green stripes. And then some old school ones. Now this one is also with print. 
This one is super old school, just dark green and red. Traditional Danish Christmas heart. I'll just serve some of my burnt Christmas cookies that I made in one of the last vlogs. They still taste good. They just got a little bit too much. Sophie is here and she brought something really interesting. She First always of all, do. we brought Peter. Yeah, this <laughs> one looks gold. amazing on camera. Yeah. Whoa, look oh, at yeah, that. I see. Looks amazing. Very nice. But also the very old. Some very old. What are like, they called? Um, aren't they called paper dolls? Yeah, they might be. Yeah, might be. They're like, adorable. Very old. Do you have a plan with those? Um. I think I will cut them out and do some sort of a like um as like a string where you put your clothes when you dry it. Oh, that's why. So a kind of garland. Yeah, exactly a garland with these old paper dolls. Ah, yeah, yeah. True. Okay, so you have many plans for just I one have, night or just some ideas. Oh, these I have some old like too. Victorian um other old Christmas stuff and and these Victorian Whoa, dresses. I beautiful. thought you would love them. <laughs> Oh, this one down here. Yeah, they are beautiful. Yeah, they are. I have made my first heart of the year and I decided to go with paisley mixed with traditional Danish Christmas. And Sophia started a garland. Like a moon garland that could be used the whole year. And then we found out that I forgot to bring the, uh, the gold string. So we found a little bit of string. The like only this. string I had in my apartment. Yeah. <laughs> But it's a good idea. Sophie is not really in the Christmas mood yet. So that's why we're making something that you can use the whole year round. table from yesterday I made all of these for the tree we have at my boyfriend's I'm gonna gather them this one being the biggest one I made Hey guys and happy 15th of December. Whoa, Christmas is getting closer. I've just picked up some Christmas presents nearby. Um, I still have some to purchase. It's starting to be a little bit of a pressure to find the last Christmas presents. I need something for my boyfriend. But I just wanted to say thank you so so much for all of the amazing comments and messages I got yesterday. To me the 14th, it's not, it's not just a day where I celebrate the Batik's two years birthday. But it's a day where I celebrate pretty much everything I've managed to do being a self-employed so far. So it's much more than that. I've just decided that the 14th of December is the day to celebrate and look back and reflect. So... Thank you so much. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Let's head to the boutique and get started with proper work. absolutely love the colors of this one it's so spring and beautiful and they should by the way be up by the time that this video goes up I hope I can have them up tomorrow I'll see how much energy I have for now I've photographed five I would love 
love to do at least 15. Mm -hmm. I've shot 12 kimonos. I'm really hungry. So I've turned on my small oven and I have a piece of a veggie pie that my boyfriend made the other day. <laughs> he just makes all of my food these days. I'm a terrible person. And then I will save, save like the leftovers and eat those for a few days after. So I pretty much live by the things that he makes me. But he likes to cook. I'm not a big fan of cooking. So it's perfect. It's a perfect match. Mm. just 10 more days left to scratch and i'm behind with two so let's see if we're gonna get some reindeers 14 for yesterday a drum a 15 a reindeer oh this is gonna get interesting. I only need two reindeers and two drums. But we do prefer the reindeers. Now let's see what Bobby has for us. Behind number seven. This is a soothing cleansing oil. I've never heard of anything like that before. And then we still have Da 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 da. Beautiful body shop. 14. Heavy one. 15. Let's take 14 first. We got a shampoo with sheer. Last time I said sheer, somebody told me I was wrong. So, might be pronounced wrong. For dry to very dry hair. That's perfect. That's, that's my hair. <laughs> Great. And then 15. Ooh, it's another lip balm. This one I got. No, I don't. Pink grapefruit. No, I got strawberry. Ooh. It smells like a pink drink like alcoholic drink <laughs> but I like these lip balms so that's great and I'm also going to end this video here because I'm heading over to my boyfriend's for the night so I hope that you enjoyed this video that was a combination of what I was doing yesterday and what I've been doing today I think it's hard to think back on what I've filmed in this video so I hope I hope it was good Leave a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. Vlogmas is not over yet. I'm still trying to do my best. But I can definitely feel that we've made it a long way through the month. And that I feel like I've said the same things over and over again. And I think at some point when you are a content creator. And you're doing something like Vlogmas that's so intense. I mean you look at yourself and you listen to yourself quite a lot. So when you've made it to the 15th of December, as I have now, I can definitely feel that I'm starting to... <laughs> I just feel full of myself. So I hope you're not feeling the same way. Um, because we still have a few videos to do. So thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you all again tomorrow. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.